With their true power unleashed, Valer and Zale can now fly on the open on the world map. Move around with L and press X to lift off or land on clear surfaces. You can also explore previously inaccessible areas. When you feel ready, the Fleshmancer's castle awaits for the final confrontation. Okay. No, I want to go back this way. So I'm gonna go up. Here. So I guess the game wanted you to wait until now to do all of your backtracking. Whoops. There is a person here. South, southwest, southeast, south. Okay. Okay. We can do this. South, southwest, southeast, south. Okay. Also, I need to find something light. It'll happen when it happens. South, southwest, southeast, south. Okay. Nope. Not what I wanted. This one. I wanted to enter. It wanted me to fly. Okay. South. South. What? Excuse me? Oh, hi. Um... You're gonna make a shield, aren't you? How lame. Oh no, power tackle. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. Get punched. Oh, that was actually very close to killing it. If only. Okay, goodbye. Okay, little beepy dude. You're gonna tell me there's anything else here before I move on? I've only gone south, right? So south... West. This is how directions work. Okay, south east. Where is the thing that you have? was so bad. What am I doing today? No. I hate your stupid shield. Whatever. Photon? What? Goodbye. Okay, I don't care about you. We're gonna get rid of this thing. Because I hate the stupid hex shields. Hand handling. Oh, I remember this. 
Okay. Heal us. Because it's free, so why not? Sarai. Okay. Okay, it is weak to sun, poison, and moon. Well, that's what this team is. A bunch of sun, poison, and moon. Hex shields really have too much health. Just saying. Four health. Wow. Okay. Bye. Okay, so now I just have to go south. Okay. Thank you. Rainbow shell. Question pack seven. Obsidian ingots. Adamantine ore. Campfire feels cozy and warm. I have things for Teeks to read to me. I've been thinking about the Solstice Shrines. Might be worth finding the remaining ones. Right, right, we have to do that. We're almost at the end. Is something troubling you? There's another potential threat to my people. One I'm not sure I can handle on my own. What is it? The queen that was. Oh, I vaguely remember them um, mentioning her. We've been mapping this Rulian expanse for a long time, but it feels like we'll never find her. If she gets the jump on Rapine. A gruesome thought indeed. Is there any lead we could follow? It's a long shot, but a probe brought back brought this back from one of the search parties. Jose's Jose's belt buckle. I was hoping we could give it to Teeks and see what we can learn if we have the time, of course. It's worth a shot, at least. Okay. Huh? Rashawn's puppet points at something on the map. Okay. Great alchemist, are you trying to tell us something? Perhaps we should investigate the location? Okay. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. I should have a couple. New story unlocked, Estrus Day. New story unlocked, the Cerulean Expedition. Yep, let's hear a story. Estrus Day. When the Birdmen accepted a Foral's deal, he knew that granting their species access to mind magic would be easy for him. There was only the matter of giving them their own god to worship. And so as always, when a problem wouldn't also serve to advance his research, he delegated. The songsters were capable builders, not as tech-savvy as the humans who built Skybase, but he just needed a giant construct and no tricks. With proper incentives in place, in the form of hostages, a foral put to core in charge. A team was formed and together they started building the Sacrosanct Spires with its pretend god at the centerpiece, the giant Estrus Day. But Decor was no fool. 
He knew all too well that a foral wouldn't stop until every single shred of life had been exploited or corrupted. On the third night, the songsters performed a ritual chant to summon a vision of the distant future to Decor's mind. Skybase, the regulator of climate corrupted, the death of all fauna and flora. The megacity completely raised, his land reduced to an ocean of blue sand. The tech-savvy humans, their souls detached from their bodies and tethered to cyborgs by a wicked machine. Forced to live in despair, their minds food for a growing sea monster. A world without sun, without hope, and the moon sunken into the abyssal depths. And his own people. What a cruel fate. Heroes of the future, this world's only hope, capable yet without any means to reach Skybase, with power offline. The vision faded, and Takor focused his mind on dreaming a sanguine dream. Next morning, he woke up with purpose. When the time came, the heroes would have the spark needed to reclaim their world. The solution had to be so simple. It would be invisible to a foral and his elitist mind. And so they built Estraste on a vertical power rail connected to the planet's grid. For the final touch, they raised an enormous slab of stone for the giant statue to hold firmly in its hands, the most primitive form of battery, which, when dropped, would grind on the rail and return power to the grid. Their plan worked. A foral wrote it off as a purely artistic choice. Centuries went by, and with the rise of the Fleshmancer, the world lay helpless as Decor's visions of suffering and destruction came to be. All the while, Estraste stood there, never getting so much as a second look from a foral. For centuries and more, the failsafe was hidden in plain sight, ready to support the heroes of the future in their last ditch effort to reclaim this world. While Takor wouldn't live to see the day of their arrival, he died knowing that his world and his people at least stood a chance. The end. Okay. Yep. Let's hear this Cerulean Expedition one. This one is special. It's an adventurer's log. Might want to take some notes. Joseph's Log Cerulean Expedition Day 1 I wasn't expecting to feel fear so early on, to think we might just happen upon her, the queen that was. Still, she needs to be found, lest she get the jump on Rapine. Even the sunken moon knows we've suffered enough from her betrayal as it is. Three teams we are. The other two are led by Brochu and Elby. Plan goes like this. Each team has a series of four directions to explore. Four directions, four days, after which we backtrack for another four and compare notes. Brochu's team is trying northeast, southeast, south, then northwest. Okay, hold on. I'm going to write this down somewhere. I need some paper. Okay. N E S E S N W. Okay. Albie's team is going southwest, south, southwest, then east. As for my team, we are doing north, east, northeast, and then south. Joseph's log. It's really an expedition day nine. Well, I'll be danged. It was obvious once I took a look, took a second look at the notes. Brochu said it felt right for the first two days, but then something was amiss. LB recounted feeling lost the whole time, save for day four, where everyone 
had more spring in their step. As for me, I was right. Day three was truly special. But Speedball ought to lead her, lead to her throne. But it lost power like all the others, so there ain't no way forward. And seeing as I lost my entire team getting here, so there ain't a way back either. That's it for me, I guess. Huh. Well then, let it be known, Jost was here. The end. Okay, I need to reread that. I did not write as much down as I should have. Nope, not the Vespertine. Dang it. Dang it. Cancel. No teaks. Stop it. I don't want to hear about Hortense. Hortense is already on my team. Sort of. Okay. Yes. Not the Vespertine. The Cerulean Expedition. Okay. Yep. Okay, so this one is Brochu. I should have written down their names to start with. Okay. This one is LB. And then this one is Jos. Okay. Brochu said it felt right for the first two days. So first two. Northeast, then southeast. LB recounted feeling lost the whole time except for day four. So the last one is east. As for me, I was right. Day three was truly special. Northeast. Okay. Okay. We will we will try that. Rest so that we can move along. Also, while I'm at a campfire, do any of these foods say that they're light? Sweet and simple. Boring but healthy. Maybe he wants this. Maybe he wants a salad. It's just a salad. Oh, healthy and light. Herbed filet. Okay. We'll give that guy the herbed filet then. Okay. We're going to save now. I am going to leave here. Okay. Okay. So it should be northeast. Okay, northeast. Southeast. And then it should be northeast again. And then east. Ha ha. Destination unknown. Threat level high. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yeah, I, I saved. I'm pretty sure I saved. If not, oh well. Where am I going? Throne of the Queen that was. Well, I'm here now. Doesn't really look 
Throny. Oh, hello. I got Artful Gambit. What does that do? HP minus 95%. Enemies are invincible while casting. Timed blocks reduce damage to one. Timed hits bonus damage times two. That sounds obnoxious. Okay, well, I'm going to save here just in case I didn't save, which I definitely had. Oh, a shell. Thank you. 